Hello YouTube. Glad to have you back for another episode of Whitetail Bushcraft Outfitters. It's Nick again. And I want to show you my new uh, meal kit. I know uh, Neil from Briar Goat Killer is probably thinking I got a bottle of Crown Royal here, but that's already been put to good use. But uh, let's go ahead and get this thing out. See what we got here. I've been putting a little, lot of time in looking for a perfect pot or kit for meal kit. And I went ahead and got the MSR Siegel stowaway pot. It's a 1.1 liter. I think it's 775 milliliters. Very self contained. You know, and everything in my kit is a kit within a kit. We'll go ahead and open this thing up and I'll tell you what's in it. It does have the locking handle and I got all the contents inside that weighs pretty good but that handle is nice and sturdy. The lid itself it can be utilized into a plate if you wanted to, you could actually shine this thing up and you can see how we're getting some reflection. Use it as a signaling device also, but it works real good as a plate. But inside this thing, cotton bandana, which you can always make into char cloth. Inside that I got my titanium spoon, spork, and tool all in one. And like I say, this is a mini kit which is actually covering. I'm a big fan of the Pathfinder from by David Canterbury of the five C's of survivability. Your uh, cutting tool, which this is just a secondary thing, does keep a great edge. Nice little folding knife. We have our spices and such. I do have a pull some of this out for us. Combustion device, secondary, just your big lighter. And back up some matches. But what I'm carrying inside this here, just a little mini flask that I'm keeping olive oil in, which can be used on your knives from tools and such, and your uh, leather for conditioning it. Nice little tiny flask. And my spices, of course. You know, I'm keeping ginger, which is great for um, nausea and other things like that, and also an antiseptic. Sage, of course, which is always good as its medicinal purposes. Keeping some bullion cubes in here for a quick broth or tea. In here I have some iodine tablets for uh, making water bowl drinkable, but you know the only hundred percent way is to bring it to a boil, of course. And I got some extra things, just soy sauce, some chili hot sauce, some honey. Of course, your salt, pepper, which also has its medicinal purposes. You know, your pepper and your cayenne peppers have a blood clot clotting uh, properties to them. Your salt has your antiseptic properties. And different spices, more pepper, all season spices, and more salt, of course. Then here I keep a can of Sterno, especially in the winter time. Nice little can, very small one. Uh, I don't even know how many ounces. This is a 2.6 ounce can Sterno. In winter time, especially, I like to have a way I know I'm going to have a fire if I need it to get warm quick. That's you know, you know you can get a fire with that even with some damp wood. A couple extra bullion cubes. Package of tea and my cordage and a little extra container but within this and I also for coverage threw in the bag here is a 55 gallon contractor's bag trash bag which I'm using for coverage so you have your 
coding tool, combustion device, container, coverage, and your cordage. Just a mini kit. I'm a big fan of uh, two is one, one is none, just so it's a secondary kit backup within your rucksack or main kit. And also, I like to keep some inside this. I have some uh, sawdust from an apple tree, and I'll use that for smoking. I think that's the first thing I'm going to do to break in this pot. As you can see, it's nice and shiny here. I want to break it in, and I think we're going to do some smoked fish on our next cooking video for you. I've been watching uh, Joe and Zach Survival, a couple of their videos, and they got me hungry. They did some. Uh, dried uh, crappie and it looked really good so I'm going to try some smoked fish but just want to share that with you guys I finally decided did my investigating I seen Rob from uh, Rob's Bushcraft had this uh, stowaway pot also and I was a big fan of it so I finally decided went ahead and got this got it delivered to the house for about 22 bucks it was $15.99 plus sh shipping and handling but just wanted to share that with you and how we had the mini kit of the five C's. And once again, I want to thank you guys all for your support, your views, and your comments. We'll catch you on the next video.